Cool. Hi, and welcome to 30 Hour Day. I'm Mitch Perosi. <laughs> I'm Rick Tarosi. I'm here with my co host, Cami Chaos. Hey, Rick. Hey. They're loud. Yeah, we got a lot of excited. fans in the joint. Um, and we will be here for the next 30, 30 hours. hours. And maybe like 30 hours and 30 seconds, possibly. It's gonna Potentially, take like once we stop crying. Oh, yes. I mean, once I stop crying. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, go. What you what have, you are look we like? Doing here? Oh right. What are we doing here? So about six weeks ago, five-ish. Five Cammy and I came up with the idea that we should do something more to give back to the community, and we initially thought about doing something for the Portland area. And when we think about Portland and uh, kind of geeky charities, Free Geek immediately jumps to mind, Point. which is an amazing program that uh, delivers uh, technology to people who might not be able to afford it, also delivers technology training. We're going to be talking to somebody from Free Geek here in a few minutes to give you some good background. But then it's holiday time. And what yes. What do you think of when we think of holidays, we think of kids. Coal. You have to think of the bad. Oh. Switches. If you're good, you have to think of your bad. Yeah. Can you think of something nice now? Toys. Toys. And yes. who gets toys? To tots. Marines. Tots. No, I think that you give toys. <laughs> Oh, you okay. Toys. Yes. You get right. toys for the little kids. Mm -hmm. And so we also decided that we wanted to raise money and awareness and goods for Toys for Tots. Yep. So we've got a couple fresh changes from Toys for Tots. Yep. And we'll be well. chatting with them. And we were chatting with them earlier. And like, we've already learned things about Toys for Tots. Just, just we like that. We didn't even know. We were ignorant. Who knew? And then, of course, the third charity that we're going to be raising money for. And you, if you are looking at the the causes page right now. Any live, any money you donate right now will be going to this charity, and it's Oregon Food Bank, because mm -hmm. at this time of the year, especially um, throughout the year, but at this time of the year, especially, you know, everybody should have something to eat. So, um, and we'll have some examples throughout the show um, on what specifically Oregon Food Bank is looking for, what types of food, that kind of thing. How are we going to do this? So, are we done? I don't. Can we cut? Has it been 30 oh. hours yet, honey? Yeah, so um, <laughs> so those are the charities, but what what's in it for you? Hours watch it, watch her at home. Hours of entertainment and probably like running mascara on Rick. Yes, my mascara will run. And um, watching point. me get really angry and <laughs> kicking flowers around, and then but then there's also the other entertainment, the stuff that yes. I don't know if it's important. Well, like tonight, for instance, Friday night is going to be the. Portland Podcasting All Stars lineup. We're gonna have uh, Court and Fat Boy. We're gonna kick it I'll off. Call him Fat Boy. He's not 
He's not fat. Strangely enough, that name doesn't really work. Yeah, but he's a good guy. Just and uh, then we'll move on to um, Portland sucks, which is PDX actually sucks. well, PDX sucks. I like that, that way, if they go to the website after hours, though, it's not morning time people. Yeah, okay. and yeah, it'll be there, and it'll be their long set. They usually do a, a half hour show, but you know, on Friday evenings they do two two hours. Two hours. And um, then after that, Strange Love Live. Which is a pretty good podcast. It's okay. okay. I don't know. I'm gonna have a co-host tonight. Yeah, we we'll have lots of guests on that. And so. lots of guests. Yeah, so that'll be awesome. Yeah. And then we do Second Sign a Picture Show. But I think what you forgot to mention was that we get a house band. We do have a house band. We tonight. get an awesome house band. May make it a regular occurrence. Do you think they'd be willing to come up every Friday and play it for could me? Maybe come down to Studio A in mm -hmm. Strange Love Studios. Yeah, maybe. Target I know. for tomorrow. And the horns of destruction. They brought some horns with them, so it's going to be awesome. Like if you, I would, I would tune in for that alone. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't think I want to cover anything that's going to happen later, though, because you'll forget. You're, you'll get or tired. Or we might reschedule or something. <laughs> I mean, what if those true. three shows take the entire 30 hours? It could. We could just have Target for tomorrow play for like 25 hours. You guys play, Charlie? No. No what? Oh. Charlie, All right, maybe not. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. All right. Charlie, <laughs> so, so Charlie, crazy. All right, well, I think that it might be time to bring on our first guest. Okay, that sounds great. So, Shannon, you want to come on in? And we'll hear a few words about Free Geek, the first charity that we're talking about. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Everybody, please welcome Shannon Vitell from Free Geek. <laughs> Woo! So, let me tell you, before we get into what Free Geek does, when we were discussing, and probably at 2 a.m., yeah. <laughs> this project that we wanted to do, the first charity that came to mind was Rick saying, we have Free Geek, we've got to do something for Free Geek. Right on. Yeah. And yeah. it's because it's very, very Portland, and it's very close to the hearts of most people in the tech mm -hmm. community. Because even if they're not benefiting from Free Geek, they're aware that we live in a world that technology is an issue, and people need to learn to use it and to have access to it. And that's what Free Geek does. It's what we do, and we recycle it, because mm -hmm. although we're all using it, it's got to go somewhere when we're done. And so what are we going to do with it? We'll take what's good, we'll make it better, and give it back to the community. Mm -hmm. Are we experiencing our first technical We might be experiencing a technical day. Is her okay. mic on? All right, you guys. Can we Shannon, pick her up? Stand up for me. Stand okay. up. We'll fix your it's mic. It's a podcast. It's hours. live streaming. <laughs> no, she's on. Got it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I just you? wanted to check. I can't hear sure. No, okay. No, we don't have headphones. Okay. We just wanted to let them know that this is a live show, and we can't do things like yell happen. cut and, <laughs> and pretend that we didn't have to check the microphone. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead. Give us, give us the talk. Tell us. I, I want to hear especially about the recycling part first and, and what that means to the community and the world and the technology. So we've been making computers and, and all, so much of America uses computers, right? Mm -hmm. There's one or more in every home. People have laptops. There's a lot in my house. Yeah. <laughs> How many? Yeah, I just saw you counting on your fingers. I, I, the, the number is inaccurate as of like this afternoon, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> a new laptop in the home. So, Free Geek started, the idea came up, um, and we put out a table at an Earth Day convention in 2000. Okay. Uh, the tech boom had just happened, and some people in Portland start, started to think after that blew up, well, what is going to be done with all these computers? What's happening to them? Yeah. And we realized that they were, a lot of them, going overseas mm -hmm. or just ending up in landfills. But so much of that's really good equipment. Mm -hmm. Some people need computers that don't have them. So Free Geek takes in computers. Mm -hmm. The highest form of recycling is reuse, of course. Mm -hmm. Build new systems and give them back to the community. We give uh, computers to any citizens who want to volunteer. Mm -hmm. We give computers to nonprofits in the Portland metro area and schools. Um, so much of our work and is, is sorting between the good stuff that's reusable, giving it back to the community, and then the stuff that can't be used anymore we recycle responsibly exactly so if somebody wants to donate their parts in their computers mm -hmm. what's the best way to go ahead and do that 
um, well, take it down to Free Geek. It's open from 11 to 7, from Tuesday through Saturday. Yep. It's on Southeast 10th Avenue at 1731, just uh, just a little bit south of Hawthorne. Okay, and let's move on to the next part of what Free Geek does, which is education. Mm -hmm. So much of it is education. So if, if somebody needs a computer, if your grandmother needed a computer, mm -hmm. what? Well, my grandma she, is actually a whiz on the computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Just saying. Some, my grandma does not, is not a whiz on the computer. Mm -hmm. She needs to learn how to use it before she can get on the internet. Mm -hmm. So she can go into FreeGeek, do the build program, learn how to build computers. She can volunteer 20 hours mm -hmm. and earn a computer. And while she's earning her computer, she can attend classes at FreeGeek that teach you how to, how to use it, what it's good for, what you can do for it. And then people who want to come in and, of course, use it for games and World of Warcraft, yeah. we can show them how to upgrade so that they can do it for that. So even if they don't have technical skills already, they can volunteer? Yeah. So how, oh, would, yeah, you put, so like, how would you put a layman to use? Oh, my gosh. Volunteer. This, this happens all the time. So we... The first thing we do is give somebody a tour of Free Geek. Mm -hmm. Twice a day, every day, Free Geek's open. There's a noon tour and a six o'clock tour, and we start showing people around the building mm -hmm. how we're bringing stuff in, open moving tomorrow? it through. <laughs> I'm just saying, we might have some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday. They're Send open. Send the camera down. They're open. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Sorry. Any nonprofit needs any. It looks like a factory when yeah. you're in it because yeah. you're bringing in stuff. You're you're making it, building it, putting it out. Mm -hmm. You've got all the recycling in the back warehouse. So what you need is people to do all of this work, all this busy work. Free Geek has a thousand volunteers right now, a thousand wow. active volunteers working and making the system work to mm -hmm. give to give this equipment to the community. That's very cool. I had yeah. no idea that there were that many people it's, involved It's in. huge. That's crazy. So We've you know put out volunteers, think about it. Just yeah. like, check your brain resources. Think, thinking. Well, what, you know at least two now, now that you know Shannon. Yeah, Will Raddick. Yes, yeah, right? see? Yeah. Right there. Who will be doing Seven Planet Picture Show later is also, was also a tiny little Yeah. So was there another, we, we talked a little bit beforehand. I wanted you to talk about the BAN certification. Oh, yeah. BAN is amazing because the Basil Action Network realized in 2003 that nobody was watching the worldwide traffic in computers and uh, what was happening to those heavy metals. They weren't being disposed of properly. Okay. So BAN started issuing um, a qualification. If you're a BAN qualified e-steward now, mm -hmm. you uh, can hold up that name and say, hey, we handle this in a responsible manner. We're not sending these systems to Africa. We're not sending them to Asia where they end up in a gigantic landfill mm -hmm. and make the land toxic. Mm -hmm. We're going to stop the toxic tide right where we live mm -hmm. and give back. So and you guys are banned. We are banned certified. And you're helping others? We're, we're teaching them. So? Right. So in order for us to be banned certified, we had to make sure that all the people we have contracts with are willing to be band certified and also work toward band certification. They're making sure that the whole system is handling it responsibly, handling e-waste responsibly. Um, so uh, now we're trying to also encourage other people who want to use the name Free Geek mm -hmm. um, around the country and also in Canada. People are approaching us all the time and saying, hey, this is something we want to do. Cool. How You guys have done it. How can we do it? So if they want, to, because people all over are watching this, if they want to contact you guys, what's the easiest way to go about doing it? You that? know what? They should start with the website, okay. freegeek.org, mm -hmm. and look through our wiki, wiki at, free, at wiki.freegeek.org, okay. and just start wiki reading. Up everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wiki stuff. Um, they'll find so much information on the wiki, on our website. If they want to learn more about having this in their community, maybe ones that are already existing in their community, we're getting tied into all of those okay. across the nation. Cool. That's yeah. excellent. And then I also wanted to mention that Shannon was instrumental in helping us uh, get an auction together mm -hmm. for Free Geek. And it, so tomorrow, starting tomorrow morning, there will be an auction site live on 30 Hour Day that will allow you to bid on certain items. We've got some pretty cool stuff. I don't know if we want to 
reveal any of that yet, mm. or we want to save that. Let's save it for later. Okay, we'll save that for a little bit later. But the, um, all all it. donations and proceeds from that auction will be Good. going to help Free Geek. Can you tell everyone before we send you on your merry way, what is the number one thing that Free Geek needs from the community? Wow. We need volunteers to give what they have Mm -hmm. to free geek. If, they, if volunteers have time, come in. Donate your time to this amazing community that this place is. If volunteers have money, donate your money to free geek. This is going to make free geek a stronger place um, and keep our community clean and well educated. We're going to help the needy get nerdy if you can help us. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah, I when like that. When she told me that, I was just like, come on. <laughs> What's she going to say? Help me to get nerdy. Very cool. When are you going to say it? OK. Um, well, it was a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you so much for coming on. I know we'll have Thanks someone else to me. talk to about Free Geek later, but it mm -hmm. was a pleasure to have you. And I hope you have a great night. And I know you've got some stuff that you're <laughs> off to go do in the near future, and I wish you the best of luck. You guys are it. off to a great start. I'll Thank be you. watching all 30 hours. Cool. Good. <laughs> we'll come up all with right. a special prize night, for those Anna. of you who do. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have secret keywords that we're considering. Why don't you come sit with me and we'll okay, discuss I'll the come secret back. keywords. All right. We have a few more guests in a couple minutes, but I, I think they need to, you know, get mic'd and taken care of. Okay. And, and I'm sure someone will let us know when it's time for that. I'm sure. Our teleprompter has disappeared, but other than that. We don't need a teleprompter. It's it makes fine. us weak. We'll be cool. It does make us weak. If, yes. if we're like, what? <sighs> Mary had a little what? Yeah, no, no. That makes no sense to me. You guys, someone with a typo, I don't know. We were talking yes. about uh, what we would do if anyone stayed up all 30 hours. Yeah, we were trying. We were several people have suggested that they might actually try and stay up all 30 hours and with us, and so I think we just do it on the, you know, on the honor I liked system. I your idea, like the spell something out idea. Yeah, I didn't really come up with yeah. anything there, and I can't really think of 30 letters that will. Right, we'll, we'll figure something out. Don't you worry. Just stick stick around, and we will tell you at some point how think, you're going to be able to earn that. I think we got one letter every hour. Okay. So it's like someone tell, let's see. So the first letter we're going to give you is A. A. Write that down. It's an a. excellent letter. So A, write down the letter A. It'll be like your little orphan Annie secret decoder. Exactly. Something. And it will not be drink your oval team. I no. can guarantee it that's not what the phrase will be. Yeah. The letter A. I wonder if someone could put that up on the screen for us. Yeah, we would need the letter It'd A. It'd be nice. Just Lower the third. letter this A. This hour brought to you by the letter, the letter A. a. I like apples. Apples and and whatever the letter A stood for. Oh wait, no, sorry. I was I was into early American literature there for a second. And thought maybe we shouldn't go down that. Route. Airplanes. Airplanes. Uh, automobiles. Automobiles. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's got a lot of letters in it. Automation. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> I like I like that. We should have better banter. We have good banter. Really? Should we yeah. just go for with the, like, the letter Let's A Let's just for a cancel while? all the acts. We're just going to do this for 30 hours. It'll be great. Trust me. Okay, let's think. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of another good A word. I can well, think of some, I can but think of some lame. Yeah, I can think of some A words. Onomatopoeia? No, that starts with an O. God. Nice try, though. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Let's sit here and You're watch Cammie <laughs> think. <laughs> You're not coming mm. up with anything. I'm stroking my chin. It's sure. thinking. That's mm -hmm. not thinking. Come up with a letter, a word, I, now. Uh, alligator. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Nice, yeah. Aghast. Ooh. Um, advantage. Aspiration, which I'm about to do adjective. on stage. Ad yeah. Adjective. Ooh, adjective is good. Yeah, Thank you. that's about all I've got. Do you think those Marines are mic'd up yet? April. <laughs> uh, actuary. Oh. That starts with an A, doesn't it? Yeah. You get it. Yeah. If I had my phone, we could play Words with Friends right now. Words with Friends should be sponsoring this thing. They should, because I have a feeling it's going to get some screen time. Later. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of Words with Friends played when we're not on stage, I think. Speaking of iPhones, if you have a little iPhone, which you might, well, a lot of us do, they're a phone made by Apple. You Hello. might have heard of them. That, um, Hello. If you're interested in watching this live stream, Ooh. you can watch it. If you download the Ustream app, which is free, you can watch the show from your iPhone, from the, from the comfort of your iPhone. Or if you're just interested in the audio, our friends over at PDX-FM are 
simulcasting the entire show. So mm -hmm. the, the whole audio stream is available over there, and they have a really nice little um, iPhone setup that'll allow you to listen in to the witty banter like this. I think maybe I just had a good idea. Okay. Maybe we should get some important things out of the way. Okay. Like, if you're listening to it on one of those other places, maybe you don't know to go to 30hourday.org. Right. Maybe you don't need to, you know, uh, to go to 30hourday.org, because maybe that's where you're watching it right now. Yeah. But maybe you need to donate some money. That's a good idea. Then you would go to, to facebook.com slash 30 hour day. Yep. And there's also, if you're on the 30hourday.org uh, site watching it right now, if you look over there, I think, maybe down a little, there's the, there's the, over there. Not at Rick's shoe, though. No. The, over there, there's a donate button. There. And if you, um, if you, you press that little thing, it'll take you right to the causes page. And you don't even have to be a Facebook user. No. Because I know a lot of you, you haven't even heard of Facebook. And, and it, right now it goes to the Oregon Food Bank. Correct. So right now we'll it's, change that. We'll later. flip it over, and it, it'll be it'll be a surprise. So you, you can, can give th me. No. you can give three times. So you can give to Oregon Food Bank. You can give to Toys for Tots who are getting mic'd up over there, or you can give to Free Geek who we just talked to. So um, she did a great job. She was very nervous. She did a great job. She was nervous. Yeah. She looked nervous. I know. She looked great. You're a very good interviewer, and I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> That's so nice I got nothing. You. Yeah, it's the holidays. I get a little. They want to see. Where else could they go? Are people tweeting they, about us? The Spinio thing, too. I posted the, um, I'm not sure if it's on our Facebook page, but if you go to Spinio had offered, which is a service that will allow you to watch the stream from within Facebook, they had built a page for us. Maybe you're just more comfortable in the Facebook app. Yeah, and then you can do your Facebook Little wall stuff, sponsor. wall stuff, Twitter stuff. You want to do the Twitter? Mm -hmm. um, which reminds me, we should get back to Twitter. Um, we should. That's where I was going. I'm wondering okay. if people are Sorry to Twitter. interrupt you. So if you go to the okay, front, front, <laughs> front page of Spinio, which is S P I N N I O, and it dot com, it may be up yeah. on the lower third, but we can't see it. Um, they ever put the letter A up? I don't see the letter A. You guys are falling asleep already over there on the board? I don't even think they're there. We used to be yeah. awake for 30 hours. <sighs> this today. is really disappointing. <laughs> We've fallen so flat so Maybe quickly. Maybe we should just turn it off. Yeah. We, we could watch the pretty colored bars. Three, three minute day. Anyway, so, Twitter. So Twitter, if you're on Twitter, you can follow at 30 hour day, all one word, 3 0 mm -hmm. hour day. I think we're going to find somebody to tweet from that because yeah. you and I are. Yeah. We're going to be a little busy. Um, so I was going to say, we're. Yeah. We're just sitting here. <laughs> we this are. Or you can follow. <laughs> you can follow the pound uh, 3 0 HD hashtag. hashtag. 30 hour day. Is 30 yeah. HD. Yeah, 30 HD. And, then, and it looks like. And our if you're tweeting about us and, and our lame conversation, yeah. hashtag it 30 hour day. Please 30 do. HD. Please warn your friends not to tune in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we're ready. Are ready? Yeah, okay. okay so well, I will go over. You this. go over there. And you guys, one can be seated and one stand behind. Oh, both stand? Okay. okay. Well, I'll remain seated then. So you come and sit back down, Rick. If I don't trip over your mics. Okay, so we have Lance Corporal Micah Cook and Lance Corporal Brian McMullen from Welcome. Toys for Tots. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I think that Toys for Tots is the first uh, first nonprofit that I think of when I think of the holidays every year because I don't really feel like my year's complete unless I've dropped some toys off. And it's been ever since I was a kid, I've always been aware of you guys. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the history and about what it is that you guys actually do? Well, this all started with uh, Major Bill Anders, and uh, he gathered about 5,000 toys with some other. Um, Marine Corps reservists mm -hmm. and took them to some underprivileged kids in the Los Angeles area. Mm -hmm. The idea started with his wife um, handcrafting a Raggedy Ann doll and uh, take, asking him to first. take that to uh, <laughs> to one of the um, toy charities down, down in the area there. Unfortunately, there wasn't such a thing at that point. And when she found out that there wasn't an organization, she said, you're doing something about this. And <laughs> there he went. That's very cool. I, I think the first 
um, reaction that uh, I always get when I mention Toys for Tots and people start looking. Like a lot of people don't realize it's the Marines. Like it's it's almost like that you guys are kind of behind the scenes on that stuff. We are. Yeah. Um, we try to um, incorporate other organizations as well uh -huh. as the um, public, kind of making sure that um, they're you know some of that credit goes to them because they're the ones donating the toys. Yep. So we try to, um, you know, make sure that we are just behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it can get funny when we're doing uh, location location drops. Mm -hmm. You know, we're standing outside of Toys R Us, <laughs> and we'll have kids come up and ask, are you a real Marine? Are you a soldier? Are you statue? Mm -hmm. What's... <laughs> we're guarding Toys for Tots yes. during the holidays. Indeed. Just to <laughs> prevent any rioting. That's what we do. That's so, funny. that you know, I that's... Like that joke. That, what, that's the um, well, that's one of the random things that uh, people always find surprising. You were you were mentioning off stage some other interesting stuff about toys for yeah. tots, like uh, the next stuff. year. Uh, it started in 1947. Mm -hmm. The very next year, a number of celebrities got on: uh, Bing Crosby, Nat King Cole, uh, Walt Disney actually designed the logo for Toys for Tots. Mm -hmm. The oh, train. Sound amazing. Yeah. That's cool. And since then. Uh, there have been a number of first ladies that have been involved mm -hmm. and championed the cause. Since 1947 up till last year, it's been about 365 million toys going to 166 million children. Wow. 365 million toys, toys. over the wow. years. And local, locally, we've helped about 35,000 kids last year. Uh, that, uh, um, that need has increased to about 45,000 this year. Yes. So. Give more, please. Yes. People. We, right now, we are still approximately 10,000 toys short. So we're, we're still looking for donations. Okay. Yeah, so. So where are the best places? I mean, we've got a couple of drop off locations, but mm -hmm. this is just today and tomorrow. Where are the best places that they can find a location to drop off a toy? Um, we actually have a, a local website. Mm -hmm. uh, the national website will uh, take you to our local website as well. Um, if you select. Um, on the national website, the state of Oregon, and then go to Portland metropolitan area, it will take you to the local website. That is the easiest way, which is toysfortots.org. Uh, and four is spelled out, F-O-R. Um, and then the local website's uh, address would be portland-or.toysfortots.org. Right. A little yeah. complicated, but... <laughs> it's worth it. Um, the other thing that we think it's always important to highlight is... Um, what kind of toys you need. We yeah. often hear that, that you, get, you get a bunch of toys in one age group and you're kind of soft in some of the other age groups. So at this point in time, what's most needed for uh, you guys? The age groups that are needed are zero to two and... I, I noticed this morning I was actually out looking at our containers. Mm -hmm. The teen boys, which is thir you know, 13 up to 16 or so, yeah. okay. did not have much at all in it. Okay. The other so ones are starting to fill up. Uh, Teen boys is still very short. 13 okay. to 16 year old boys. Yes. And zero to two year old, uh, so tops. Literally the tops in that point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. It was, it was absolutely a it was a pleasure to have you. Thank, thank you. you very much for thank having you. us. And thank you for your support. Absolutely. Oh, for, it's a pleasure for us. Thank you. So, and we have. As Cami mentioned, uh, we have toy donations happening right now at uh, a local event that happens every Friday in Portland called Beer, Beer and, and Blog. Blog. And at, um, the Green Dragon. At, at Portland's uh, pretty much tech hub, which is the Green Dragon, which is a, a brew pub on the, on the southeast side. And um, we will eventually be talking to them, but eventually we probably we'll have a little, a little remote. may have to stall. For a little bit longer until that happens. Do you want to play the piano? I don't. We have a nice piano, though. It's over there. You can't see it. You'll see it later. It's very, very nice. And uh, that was that was given to us by the the Steinway folks mm -hmm. over there. So. If I stood up, I could see from here, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Like it's literally right over there. Um, and we'll also tomorrow. I can't play the piano, but you know who can. I do know who can. Yeah. <laughs> can I tell them? Yes, go ahead. Aaron Weiss can play the piano. That's right. Do you and guys know who Aaron is? He's on a little show. Well, he's behind the scenes on a little show called The Square. Mm -hmm. which producer is, uh, Aaron, as producer we like Aaron. to call him. 
Yeah, and he's going to be over here playing, playing transitions for us uh, pretty much all day tomorrow, which would be awesome. We're just going to put him to work. Yeah. He's, he's going to come on. He's going to play all day. Little. Yep. I think I'm just going to make some acts start late just so he has <laughs> just, to work harder. That's cool. Do you I think, think that's a good fine. idea? Yeah. He's up for it. I know. He'll he totally said he do. would. Yeah. I mean, he didn't say that he would subject himself to my personal brand of torture. <laughs> But I think that he knows me, and he signed he, on to do this anyway. He so. probably knows what to expect, having dealt with you before on different occasions. You're making me feel bad. About what? It's the holidays. Feel good. You want to do some words that start with the letter B? No, no. <laughs> not, not with that lead-in, I don't, uh, Cammy. The next letter I could come up with is no better. <laughs> so... So this is where we have to do our fancy footwork, and we could like let's pretend it's 2 a.m. and we're having a brainstorming session. We could talk about tech stories or something. We need to save that for 5 a.m. when oh, we're Oh, that's talking. right. We Me and PDX, don't give 5 a.m. 5 a.m. content. 5 a.m. is much harder than whatever time it happens. And you to be know right now. what will be great is that oh, we've got our flavor flave tree we in the ate. shot have now. We can you guys see that? An hour or are those clocks all insane? Flavor flave right there. It yeah, it's works. seven o'clock. It oh. depends on which one you look at. It's 4:30. Is the 4.31 accurate? Yeah. Why can't the 7 o'clock one be accurate? Cause then, then Only 29 and a half hours to go, everybody. Really? Keep up the good work. Do we have Do we have a remote we could cut to? I wish we did. We're supposed to have a couple remotes we could cut to. Do we have any content we could cut to? No. Do we have any tissues? We could start crying uncontrollably. I almost started crying. I know. I was, did. It's I the Raggedy Ann thing. They said Raggedy I'm, Ann, and, and I just thought about my Raggedy Ann. And then I thought about like my little girl, little Raggedy Ann and Andy mm -hmm. dolls, and my mom made them. Mine too, and I got all emotional. Cammy Chaos is not always a horrible person. Yeah, see. You're, I'm going to win the pool. You're going to cry You're first. You're not going to win the pool, because I'm going to make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be hard, I don't think. So. If, you know, I'm, I'm taking suggestions on Twitter. You can at Cammy Chaos, C-A-M-I-K-A-O-S. Your phone's not on, is it? On I have someone to handle the phone for <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, someone to I'm handle. taking suggestions Ooh, on uh, creative ways to make Rick cry during mm, 30 hour day. That's excellent. I, Show well, a there, sports movie? Isn't I will there, cry pretty much anything. You're such a man. I, I, it's sad when that stuff happens. I can't. Uh, never mind. I can't watch sports movies. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because they make me emotional, it's because they make me violent. <laughs> Whatever the sport is, I want to take an implement from that sport. And hurt people. And hurt people it. remind me not like to watch <laughs> sports movies. <laughs> if it's a soccer ever. ball, it makes me want to bounce it off someone's head. Uh, ever. Yeah. I don't know. I've never done. I've, I've never even held a cricket bat before. You know, I there are a couple sports I, I always wind up playing uh, goalie or keeper, and like I would are you love. Going to Hogwarts? What? I am going to Hogwarts. Okay. Yes, um, I would like to play some so Quidditch. So what sport are we talking about now? Wait, is there a keeper in cricket? No, but it reminded okay. me okay. of sports I haven't Tell played. I would like to play water polo because they have a keeper. I've never played keeper in water polo. Have you ever played water polo at all? I've been in a pool before. I've been in a pool too. And I can tread water pretty well. I can swim. Well. Obviously, I've, this is not showing swim. that I can tread water pretty well, but you understand what I'm saying, like literally tread mm. water. Like walk on water? No, no, no. I can if it's frozen. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Don't no, you can't lose it this early. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta keep going. This is my normal state. We barely when I'm started. You. I'm fine. All right, good. You're the one who's like. What are we gonna talk know? about? We were talking about sports that you like can't to play. Can't understand you. Oh, we are <gasps> our remote we're going to live. Remote. Oh, really? Fantastic. Sweet. Everybody, we're gonna go to a remote. Where we're are we go going? See Brian Westbrook. Is that where we're going? Are we going to see Brian? Going to beer and blog. I wish Chat someone would answer my question. Because we have another. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go see Brian Westbrook, my buddy, over so at Beer our, and Blog. Yeah, our man on the street, yeah, Brian M. Westbrook at no, BMW. No, tell me when it's written that you have to put the M. Oh, Brian. All right, go see BMW BM, on go Twitter. Go see BMW. Beer so and Blog. Up? How's it going, Brian?
I need my big powder brush. We can't see anything on the monitors. I'm just going to be obnoxious. And okay, we're hot. Thank you. I know that. We just need to finish myself. this. Just take a second. What? Nothing. The just camera? Hurry. Look, I can see. There's no camera. There's no camera. We're fine. Got no monitor. You're very shiny. I am shiny. You're like a little star. This is icky. <laughs> it's probably getting worse and worse. Can I? Here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. So have you got our audio but not our video? That was sad. They're really light, though. If we're out, I'll just take your mom's recommendation. <laughs> I'll tell Rick about your mom's suggestion later. I'm fairly sure, just based on the look on your face, <laughs> I can tell what that recommendation was. I can't. <laughs> you don't know. I might. Just tell me then. No, no tell I don't me. know if we're on, but I don't think it's... I don't know what's going on. I have no knowledge. I wish I really was like more ignorant of the situation right now. I blame BMW for taking down the stream. I think it's his fault, and I think we should make that very clear. First ever of its kind, Telefon. Mm-hmm. We did we cover so that? donate because the lights are out and we need more money. If you want to give, them, them on. if you want us to, if you want us to come back, you have to donate. I think we're only preaching to the people in this room, though, mm. and they. Well, they should be donating then. Oh, our our mics are live. <gasps> hey, we're back. Okay, wait. I just finished, oh. though. I'm almost done. You got a little Thank excited. You. Yeah, I was sweating while the thing was okay. off. There. Okay, just keep it down. Okay. Okay. Thanks. That's that's great. No, really. Oh, that's much better. I'm gonna lean over here. That's great. Now I'm the shiny one. I know. Look at you. you should get some powder. Get, get no. out. <laughs> Just I a need second. To All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna be on camera. I'm, I'm not. You guys better get used to it. It's gonna yeah. be this rough. The it's whole a fact way. of life, people. It's a fact of life. It's, it's streaming. And, it's uh, not a perfect science. You know, frankly, if BMW hadn't stepped on the table, I blame <laughs> I blame Brian Westbrook. Then uh, we would not have had that problem, and we would. We wouldn't have had that downtime. So dare I ask if we're going to try the remote again? Anyone? I, I came uh, up with some good A words while they did were you? away. I came up with some good A words. Abomination. Oh. You, you, you had you had anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. That yeah. was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. So hopefully we'll get to throw back to Brian. But just so you guys know what's going on there, if you actually paid attention while the stream was down and came back to yeah. watch. Um, which I hope you did. It's nice to see you again. I'm glad you're here. The, yeah, uh, <laughs> the What we're doing is we're going to throw over to uh, Beer and Blog, which is a weekly get-together here in Portland that really has very little to do with blogging anymore. anymore. It started out as uh, you know a few bloggers getting together, trying to help each other out with their blogs, and they, they chose to do it at breweries around town yeah. and pretty much wound up centering on the Green Dragon and mm -hmm. has been there ever since. But it's also now popped up in, I think, 10 or 12 cities. Lots of cities. Yeah, so like our friend Vegas Geek has one down mm -hmm. in uh, Las Vegas. Hi, John. There's even one in Tokyo. There's one in Spain. Mm -hmm. They're all over the place. There's one in Corvallis. There's one in Corvallis, and they do them on, you know, so. Um, but what they wanted to help us with was the actual food and toy drive stuff. Correct. So people are showing up there tonight mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully bringing lots of food and lots of toys because if they do, if you haven't left yet from work. And you're not quite there. Swing by the store. Blog, 
Pick something up on your way, please. Because something tells me you might get a little something special if you bring stuff. Mm -hmm. The green dragon might be extra nice yeah. to you. Yeah. Just, Just saying. Me. Jinx. The, God. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so hopefully we'll get to talk You're to them. Daddy. What? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> All right. So that what were we going to talk about? That was a word, too. All right is an A word. That's very that good. good. Remember, it's A, this hour. This a. hour is brought to you by the letter A. A. And Rick and Cammy being very confused as to why we don't have a live remote. I'm not really know what's going on with the technical stuff, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just hang out. I should point out, though, as we have discussed leading up to this, that this is really the first of its kind kind of event. Yeah, people have done... So there are bound to be glitches. Yeah. People have done 24-hour podcasts before. But I think they were sitting behind a desk talking for 24 hours. Right, right. And this, I mean, I wish I could show you guys. Maybe if you stick around <gasps> late tonight, mm -hmm. like uh, probably... Although, I'm just wondering, is there a camera that we could take handheld that we could walk around the studio? Oh, look! I think, yeah. Hey, so here you can see. Guy. You can see. Hey, guys, wave at the, wave at the folks. Say yeah. hi to everybody. Um, hey, production people, so wave. Say that's, hi. That's the kind of production the setup we've got going. It is crazy in here. We've got three stages. <laughs> we've got a huge band set up over there. A master it's, control center in the center. It's master insane. Master control center in the center. Yeah. Master yeah. control center in the center. Mm. I don't know why I said it three times. Are you on Tron, the master control? Master control. I don't know. Oh, right. I haven't seen Tron since I was a kid because it was upsetting. We should watch Tron tonight. We have other things to do. Oh. What, what are we doing? We have to sit in front of this camera oh. for 30 hours. Lucky you, watching nope. at home. Oh, I thought you were saying lucky me. I'm like, what? I have to deal with you for 30 I hours. Would. No, that's not your pleasure to deal with. Whatever. I don't, I don't, it's too early for that. Stop would being I, nice. Would I, would I powder your face if I didn't like being around? You here? powdered my face because you wanted the people there at home to That's see it. That's not true. I, at first, I tried to powder your face when the cameras were off and take advantage of it. <laughs> but then, once I had the powder in my hand, then I started feeling kind of mean. Yeah. And then yeah. I was like, oh, wait. That's great. Whatever. I look much better now. Thank you. I'm you sure do. everybody appreciates it. Um, you, you're beautiful. <laughs> I, I am. This is true. So while we're waiting for Brian to come back, which who knows if he might ever, maybe he'll just go to Peacock Lane. Maybe he'll just come back here. Maybe he'll just. Maybe we'll have to do it in front of the green screen and pretend he's at Beer and Blog. Yes. Can Nate hear me by any chance? Maybe Nate should get some extra footage of the green dragon. Yeah, just, just, like, just shoot some random us stuff. On the wall. And then it could be like you and be I fun. are Beer and Blog too. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Only no we're beer. not beering or blogging. Nope. That's all right. What would we do there if we weren't having beer or blogging? We could talk to Brian. It's true. We on could. the live remote. What else is going on there? Toys for Tots. What else? You mean later, after? Yeah, well, oh, is it after? Karaoke. Did you not see her? She was just here. Oh, so she's getting but late she left. set up. Yeah. She left to go set So up. there will be karaoke, holiday so karaoke. Four to six. Good. Beer and blog. Yeah, okay. So it sounds like they're back up. <gasps> We can oh, throw it. We can. That we, would be nice. Yeah, we can maybe talk to Brian and actually hear him. Could this we? Time. Will we be able to hear Brian? Can we put him up on a monitor or something so we could yeah. hear him? Okay. Okay. So we're still waiting for him, and uh, we'll throw over to him here in a second. He's not listening. Oh. I'm hearing from the production crew okay. something. <gasps> oh, there's wait. Brian. There he is, and he's talking to people. Look, it's all festive. Oh, it looks very holiday-esque. Okay. Don't go very far. All right, hey guys, I just want you to know right off the top of the bat, I did not shut down the. <laughs> yeah. it's not no, my it was you. I was watching. I did nothing. I did not trip over a cable. I didn't cause a mess. That was not me. But I just quiz Amber, who is just joining us here. Case Organic is joining us here at the Green Dragon. We're raising money, toys for tots. You can bring canned food donations. You can also give us money. I promise I'll take it back to the mothership for Free Geek, the organization that does a lot to bring computers to those that need them. And I asked you to name all three charities, and, and, and how did you do? Be honest, don't cheat. Well, I just got back from Canada, and I just read everything, got back up on everything today. So I did okay, but not that well. Now, let me ask you a question. Do all of the, now, you know, you can watch this telecast, you can watch 30 Hour Day in Canada as well, although the 30 Hour Day up there is a little bit different because it's, it's not 30 Hour Day, it's 30 Hour Day A. <laughs> so it's 30 Hour Day A. And remember, you can watch this telecast from 
all over the world and there are folks that are joining us online i'm watching the Ustream numbers because that's what i do when i'm waiting for you to come to me as i just watch Ustream and pretend that we're having a good time here but diesel boy's here diesel boy, come on over De hello diesel boy hello Hello, camera guy. Hey, camera guy, you with me? You with me, camera guy? Diesel Boy, you're here at 30 Hour Day. We're at the Green Dragon. Now, you're a beer and blog regular. What brings you out to beer and blog? Uh, friends. Just, just friends. And beer. Now, let me tell you a little story. When you're interviewing someone on live television, you love for them to say more than one word. Okay. Let me ask you one more question. Let's try this again. We're with Diesel Boy at, at the Green Dragon. And here's a question for you. Have you brought your unwrapped toy? No, but I did bring homemade jam. He did bring homemade jam, and I'm going to grab this homemade jam. And I think, you know what? You guys may have Marines back there at the studio. You may have a spread of food. Word is they have a spread of food okay. right there. But they do not have Diesel Boy's homemade jam. No. Fig. Fig, Fig jam. jam. Fig jam. Uh, and it's even dated and everything. So I'm going to take this back with me. And you know what? Yeah. This goes is goes well with stinky cheese. <laughs> Wait, what? Stinky cheese. Goes well okay. with stinky cheese. Okay, so stinky cheese and Fig yeah. jam is what we've learned here. And... Uh, a bag full of, well, maybe we'll maybe we'll grab one from you to give back to Cammie and Rick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're getting some. All right, they're getting some. So we are, we're having a really good time. Uh, I even brought some of the flyers here, you know, and I see this here, guys. No sleep, all for charity. I, I You know, I got to say, I'm kind of feeling sorry for you guys already. Uh, we talked to Justin a little bit ago. Now, let's, this might be dangerous because if you remember, I was talking to Justin live here on 30hourday.org before we lost the connection, so let's try this again. Now, this is Justin Kissner. He is the founder of Beer and Blog International, yeah. we should call it now. Yeah. Uh, what prompted you to start Beer and Blog? Uh, well, it actually was the fact that I was helping a lot of my friends already, and uh, it was getting to be a substantial amount of time. So I said, all right, look, all you guys show up this time in this place, and you buy me some beer, and I'll help you with whatever you need. Are, are lots of people buying you beer right now? Uh, so the tradition of buying me beer has <laughs> long since slipped into the ether, and uh, now it's really become more of a, a good social networking event for the tech team. So tell me about the promotion that the Green Dragon, which is this hour's sponsor, by the way. Thank you so much, at PDX Green Dragon.